All right, so I'm talking about moving from here to becoming a big old mess now. To So, the plan is to try to dry sheets in here. I think they'll fit. You can hang them up there to dry. I plan to put a table along this wall where I will do my lamination. I'll cut the rolls of laminate or cut the sheets of laminate from the roll. And then I'll roll it through the laminator towards this portion of it. And over here in the middle of the wall, right in the middle, I'll have my desk. And then on this wall, I'll have two printers and a cutter. I'll have my Roland all the way to the left, GraphTech in the middle, and my Epson label printer to the far right. And back here in the corner, I'm gonna try to put a shelf but to get it up high enough that I can access all the shelves, I'm going to try to put it on some sort of a riser or platform because there's going to be a table there and a desk here. And so it needs to sit high enough off, off the ground that I can access everything. That's the plan for right now. I have a window so I can ventilate through here if I want to. be nice. This is going to be the new little sticker shop. Small, compact, but yet efficient. So stay tuned to see what you can do with a similar size room. All right, here's the new sticker shop. So like I said before, it's small but efficient. I'm just going to start in the entry here. Turn on another light there. All right, this is where I have my laminate roll. So I can cut the sheets of laminate here. And I'm not going in order of the process, but this is the order of how I have everything laid out right here. Then I would lay the sheets of stickers down here and then put the laminate on top of it just to stick it on the edge and I would feed it through on the laminate here there's going to be a table or some I'm going to redo this table the bench or whatever I'm going to have something here where the sheets can come off the laminate and you know sit on that so it doesn't fall on the floor I have my desk my work area and then I've got my shelf system, which right now I'm just gonna keep some stock stickers that I sell on Etsy up there. And then I've got my printers. I have a thermal printer for my shipping labels and I've got my inkjet printer for 
printing out invoices. And then I've got my um, Roland BN20A. It's what I use to print my stickers. I've got my Graphtech CE7000-60. It's my 24 inch cutter that I use. And then I've got my Epson Colorworks C6500AU, the label maker with the rewinder so I can roll it up onto the uh, cardboard rolls. I keep some stock of some different stuff down here. It's not really organized yet, but I've got, I've got uh, blank labels. I've got some cardboard cores. Said I need to go through and organize that a little better. And, and then in the closet here is where I hang the sheets of stickers to cure for at least eight hours before I cut them. Right now I've just got some big 17 inch ones, some leftovers from another job I did. And then up top I'm using uh, this shelf up here to keep the plastic that I use to package the labels in. And I'll package it in there. I seal it up with a bag sealer and then I heat shrink it with the heat gun. Now for this whole area here I plan on redoing all this eventually but right now this is just going to make do for what I need. I'm going to put a different bench or redo this one so that it extends out further. Um, I want it to all be one surface instead of this stupid old wine rack that I have. I'm just using this right now because it's an extra surface. I wanted to extend out the table to be a little bit longer so that I could have a little bit more room right here in the middle and between the cutter and the laminator. And um, so anyways, eventually this bench will end up going all the way to the wall, I think. And then I'm going to have a shelf underneath it so that I can put some of this stuff. I'll be able to put uh, the uh, bag sealer. I'll be able to put um maybe my my uh, plastic that i use for packaging and then also right now i don't have a good place to put all these i have a, a bunch of these that i use to put the stickers in um, right now i have a bunch of extra stickers that i'm having some of those but i primarily use it for when i'm ever i'm popping the stickers out of the sheets i put them in there and then i grab it out of there to put it in the packaging so i'll put up a little bit of the stuff on the wall a bunch of stickers that I've done here all these pretty much every single one of these are ones I've done for a client and then just some personal stuff um, I'm big into cars big into Ferraris it's a passion of mine I used to be a member of the Ferrari Club and do a lot of photography for the Ferrari Club and that's me with the Ferrari 430 when someone threw me the keys to it one day anyways big into that stuff and it's a passion of mine so i think this wall right here is kind of gonna be the ferrari wall or the car wall um i'm into some other stuff too i like some older bmws but my other job is working with cars i've worked with cars all my life so that's just a passion of mine anyways uh this is the room for now i'm gonna do some fine tuning and tweaking and everything but so far this is the layout of it so let me know what y'all think um oh yeah and i wanted to point out that the dimensions of the room i didn't say it before and i messed up when i was trying to say it um so the lengthwise that's going from that wall to where i'm at basically from here all the way to over there that's 11 feet 9 inches 11 feet 9 inches and then from this wall here to this wall here is nine feet five inches so you can call it it's basically 10 by 11 if you want to kind of round it around round it out the closet isn't included in that space in this little dead space here that you have to walk through is not included in that space so from this edge of the wall to that edge is 11 feet 9 inches from this side to this side is 9 feet 5 inches 
So it's all doable with that space. And um, I didn't calculate exactly the square footage of that. But it's not a it's not a lot of space at all. This is what I would consider just like a average to small bedroom. I mean, really a small bedroom if anything. But it works for this equipment for what I need right now. I've already done some production in it. I'm obviously not going to be doing huge numbers of stickers in here. You know, I could run a lot of labels. There's no reason why I couldn't with that. But um, anyways. Let me know what y'all think for right now this works and like i said it's going to free up space so that if in the future i did want to expand and get a really big printer and a really big cutter i could put that in the space that i was using before so y'all take it easy thank you for watching